Okay, I am amazed because while I've been using the new iPhone 15 Pro, I have found so many useful hidden features, tips, and tricks that I wanna share with you today because Apple honestly packed a lot of cool secret changes into this phone and I wanna tell you all about them. But first, hey, you just got a new iPhone 15 Pro and these things are expensive, so you need a case. But you don't want a boring case or one that doesn't protect your expensive phone purchase, which is why I wanna tell you about our friends over at Casetify and their new case lineup for the iPhone 15 Pro. Casetify has some of the most stylish looking cases around with a huge lineup to fit anyone's taste with their trendy cases. If you've seen a great looking case featuring a cool brand or a unique style, you've probably seen the Casetify name. And if that's not good enough, you can customize your own case like this custom Greg's Gadgets case, which I think looks awesome. Now Casetify isn't all about style. They actually have some pretty durable, rugged cases. This is part of their Bounce series. It has six times military grade drop protection. And even their Impact case does have four times military grade drop protection. Protection. But what if I told you there's a better case out there? Because Casetify now has an Ultra Bounce case, which has 10 times military grade protection. That's right. Now that bounced pretty hard, but you can see that the iPhone literally has no damage on it. And thanks to Casetify's tempered glass screen protector, also protected the front display of the iPhone. And as we take off the tempered glass screen protector, you can see there's literally no cracks or damage on this as well. Not only is Casetify protecting your phone, but they're also taking initiative by protecting the environment with sustainable cases with their Re-Casetify initiative, where you can recycle your old phone cases and the cases that you see in this video were proudly made with old recycled phone cases. To get your own Casetify case or some really cool accessories, go to my description box and click the link to get 15% off your order today. And thank you to Casetify for sponsoring this video and for keeping my iPhone 15 Pro Max safe. I spent a lot of money on this. All right, first I wanna show you this amazing hidden feature that I discovered recently, and that is the ability to send a quick photo in messages. So normally to send a photo in messages, you would have to press the plus button on the bottom left, and then you would have to go in and select photos. However, you can actually do this much faster by just long pressing on the plus button, and it will instantly go into that photo sharing section. This is a huge time saver. I love this feature. Speaking of messages while you're here, there's also a new way to quick reply. Instead of long pressing on the message to bring up additional options, all you have to do now is just swipe right on the message and you will be able to instantly reply to that message. Now, one of the main highlighted features of the iPhone 15 Pro is of course its new action button. And you can set this button to some easily customizable commands. However, I want to show you two tricks that I learned while setting up my own commands for the 15 Pro. So first of all, to customize the action button, you go to settings and then you scroll down to action button. Here you will see a list of all the actions that you can map onto this new button. However, there are additional options with the camera app. So I found this really helpful. So by default, of course, this will launch just right into the camera to take a photo. But if you actually tap down on the photo symbol, you get a list of what mode this action button does. So you can actually open this to uh, select a selfie, select a portrait mode or a portrait mode selfie, or what I mapped mine to is to quickly let me take a video instead of a photo. So now anytime I hold down the action button, it launches right into the video mode instead of the photo mode. I found this super helpful. Now, if you haven't found a useful command with the default actions, don't worry because Apple will let you pretty much put any command into the action button with the shortcut functionality. So to do this, just scroll over until you find the shortcut section uh, in the action button list. Then select shortcut, and then you can actually pick from a bunch of preset ones, or you can really deep dive into the shortcuts app and customize your own shortcut with your own commands to map this to pretty much any iPhone command. For example, I actually did a command where I mapped the shortcut button to the music app to play a song. Now, instead of playing a song, I actually set it to play a fart sound effect. So, uh, I'm pretty sure I just made the world's first uh, iPhone fart button. I'm sorry, Tim. All right, next I wanna tell you about some amazing camera features I found on the iPhone 15 Pro. And the first one is to unlock the full power of your iPhone's phone sensor with the 48 megapixel Pro Raw mode and a new 48 megapixel Heath photo option. To, to do this, go to settings, go to camera, then select formats, and then turn on 
Pro Raw and Resolution Control. Now you can see there's a default here where you can pick between Pro Raw Max at 48 megapixels or Pro Raw at 12 megapixels, as well as the new Keef Max option. To make it really simple, if you want a high resolution photo and you really don't plan to do major edits to them afterwards, pick Heath Max and save on your storage. If you want full control of the photo, like you're a professional photo editor, and you're gonna take these photos and edit them in a third-party app later, then maybe you should pick Pro Raw Max so you have maximum flexibility when editing these photos. Now, another quick tip is once you've enabled this is you can actually quickly change these settings. You don't always have to go into the settings app. So to do this, just open up the camera app and then on the top right, you can switch your default. All you have to do is just tap and hold and you can pick between the Raw Max, the Heath Max, and the 12 megapixel raw mode. Now, another hidden feature on the iPhone 15 Pro is the additional lens option. So now if you tap on the 1X lens, it can switch between 24 millimeters, 28 millimeters, and 35 millimeters, or 1X, 1.2X, and 1.5X respectively. Because of the 48 megapixel sensor, Apple is actually cropping into the sensor to give you these extended digital zoom ranges on the 1X lens. And by default, it actually takes a full 24 megapixel photo. So by doing this and digitally cropping, you're not losing resolution detail by using this feature. On top of that, there's actually a way to set one of these additional focal lengths as your main camera. To do this, go to settings, scroll down to camera, scroll down to main camera, tap that, and from here, you can set the default lens on your iPhone to the new 1.2X or 1.5X. So depending on what focal length you like your photos from, Apple is giving you some control here. On top of that, if you only want to switch between 1X and 1.5X, you can disable the 28 millimeter lens, or if you wanna go from 1X to 1.2X, you can disable the 35 millimeter lens. Or if you hate this feature, you can disable all of the additional lenses. Speaking of lenses and zoom ranges, if you own an iPhone 15 Pro Max, you now have a new 5X zoom option. However, you can also increase this zoom up to a 25X digital zoom. To do that, just tap the 5X button and slide your finger to the left or pinch to zoom. Also, as you get past the 8X zoom, you'll also see a new wider picture-in-picture -picture preview of what you're zooming in on to help guide your shot. And this was really useful for keeping track of subjects when using the extended zoom range. Now, one feature I haven't been using a lot lately is portrait mode on my iPhone because I usually just default to taking photos with the regular camera settings. But sometimes you take a photo and you kind of wish you did do it in portrait mode because it would be nice to have a nice blur in the background. Well, thankfully on the iPhone 15 Pro, Apple is now really smart about detecting subjects and will automatically capture a portrait mode shot with depth data when taking regular photos. So to do this, it's simple. Just take a photo. As long as it has a person, a dog, or a cat in the frame, Apple can activate this automatic portrait mode. And to know if it's really working, you'll actually see this f-stop symbol pop up in the bottom left part of the camera app to indicate that it is capturing portrait mode data. Now you could tap that f-stop symbol to switch to portrait mode, but you don't have to, because if you just take the photo, you can switch to portrait mode later. So once you take your photo, go to the photo, then hit edit, and at the bottom, you'll see a new portrait mode option. Tap that and then slide the slider over to the left and you can adjust how blurry you want the photo and then just hit done to save it and you now have a portrait mode version of this photo all automatically. You didn't even have to switch to portrait mode in the camera app. Awesome. Another really helpful feature is the ability to change focus even in older portrait mode photos that you didn't take on the iPhone 15 Pro. They just have to have the portrait mode depth data. So to do this, find a portrait mode photo, hit edit, and then just tap anywhere on the photo and you can change where the focus is and then just hit done to save this new edit. Now this next trick is really cool. I think a lot of people are gonna use this one and that is to set an animated lock screen and you can make it all by yourself using the live photos feature on your iPhone 15. The easiest way to do this is to go to the lock screen, long press, and then swipe over to add a new lock screen. Hit the plus button and then on the top left, hit the photos section. In photos, you can see there's an option for live photos. Tap that and all of your live photos that can take advantage of the animated lock screen will pop up here. Then select the photo. From here, you can customize the lock screen further, or if you hit this live photo icon in the bottom, you can turn off the movement effect, although I don't know why you would if you're watching this part. Now remember to hit add in the top right, and then the next time you unlock your phone, you'll get a live animated photo wallpaper 
and it looks great. If you don't have any live photos to use, just make sure in the camera app that the live photos is turned on by hitting the live photos icon in the top right of your iPhone's display. Okay, next I want to show you some cool video features on the iPhone 15 Pro. For Pro users, this is really important and that is how to record in log. To do this, go to settings, scroll down to camera, and then tap formats. From here, scroll down and enable Apple ProRes. And then for ProRes encoding, turn it to log. Now, when you go to the camera app and you go to record a video, you'll see a new setting on the top called ProRes. Tap this and turn on ProRes log footage. Now, log footage, when you take it, is really flat out of camera because kind of like ProRaw photos, to really take advantage of this, you really need to edit these videos in a video editor. But because you're recording so much information, you can tweak this footage so much more and get really nice video quality out of the iPhone if you know what you're doing. Now, if you don't know how to grade footage or you simply don't wanna go through the hassle of it, uh, simply switch the format back to SDR or HDR. However, you still may want to use this ProRes video mode if you want to record more detail and also record to an external SSD. Because you may have noticed that ProRes takes a lot of footage. It's telling me I can record about 68 minutes of video with this mode on with 512 gigabytes of storage. That's not a lot of time. So another trick is to record directly to external storage with the new USB-C port, which can also unlock 4K ProRes at 60 frames per second. To do this, just get a compatible USB-C external SSD drive, plug it into the USB-C port on your iPhone 15 Pro, and then you can record directly to the drive as long as you're in ProRes. It seems like when you record normal videos, it still just records directly to iPhone storage. And you can see, once you plug in the external drive, it will say USB-C on the bottom here, which means you are recording to the external storage. And all you have to do is hit record, and then it will record to the external drive into a folder called DCIM, and then there's another folder in that called Apple 100, which will have the video files you just recorded. All right, another thing you can do with your iPhone 15's USB-C port is charge other devices. So to do this, just take a USB-C to USB-C cable or a USB-C to lightning cable and plug it into your iPhone 15 Pro and then plug it into another accessory like AirPods Pro to charge your AirPods, or you can even plug it into another iPhone or even another Android phone to charge that device. All right, another really cool feature for the iPhone 15 Pro is to have super voice isolation. We've all been there, right? Noisy background with dogs barking or kids screaming, and you're on a call trying to make an appointment. It's not like that just happened to me. Well, now on the iPhone 15 Pro, you can cancel that background noise out. To do this, you have to be on a phone call or a FaceTime call, and then you just swipe down from Control Center, and in the top right, you'll see uh, mic mode. Just press on that, and you'll see a new option for voice isolation. Just tap this, and now this will cancel out background noise and really just focus on your own voice. All right, but those are my hidden features for the iPhone 15 Pro. Listen, if you like the video, make sure you give me a like. If you wanna see more, make sure you're subscribed and don't forget to check out our sponsor, Casetify, in the description below. I don't know why I went scorish at the end, but I did. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one, mateys. I think that's Australian.